Each year, one in four teens contracts an STD. Using a condom would greatly reduce the chance of getting an STD or getting an unwanted pregnancy. All right, so I'm going to try to persuade you guys to wrap your willies and not be silly. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> According to uh, go, a go ask Alice.com Big Columbia Education, 79.5% of college students have had sex. Also, 55.5% uh, of college students are sexually active. 20 to 25 percent of college students have ha have an STD. So according to this statistic, that means that one out of four in this classroom has an STD. Oh. Pretty scary, huh? <laughs> All right. <coughs> um, having unprotected sex can result in an unwanted pregnancy or an STD. Using a condom can help both of these. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is teen pregnancy. Uh, according to uh, teenshelter.org. Approximately 1 million teens get pregnant a year. This consequences in around 520,000 births and 505,000 abortions and 80,000 miscarriages. Okay. okay, according to Gut Mutter Institute, nearly half, nearly half, nearly, nearly half of teens, uh, for exactly 46%, have had sex at least once at the age of 15. Only 13 have had se only 13 percent have had sex. Wait, wait. Oh, I got double wrong. Okay, at the a at the age of uh, 19, I mean, they have had they have had sex. Like nearly half of them have had sex. And at the age of 15, only 13 percent have had sex. So by the time they reach their 20s, seven out of 10 have had intercourse. High quantities of young adults have uh, have had sex at least once around the age of 17, and they also don't get married till the, their late 20s. This implies that young adults are at risk for getting an unwanted pregnancy for nearly a decade. Condoms will greatly reduce this chance. It isn't hard to get a hold of a couple of condoms. They sell them to anyone that asks for them. They are found at nearly all the small convenience stores around your neighborhood. If you don't use any kind of protection to prevent a pregnancy, and say you have sex with your boyfriend slash girlfriend, and you still use the pull-out method, uh, you still have a 90 chance, 90% 90 chance of getting your girlfriend pregnant for that year. Uh, the good news is condoms are the most used protection. It is used by 71% of all males in a statistic, and 66% of females have used it. Also, this statistic has, was done by the University of Columbia. 72% of, of most teen pregnancies are, are, are unplanned. They mostly occur at the age of 17 and 19, 17 through 19. The United States has the highest teen pregnancy percentage, twice as high as New England, Japan being the lowest. <coughs> Nearly half of teens who get pregnant and do not and do end up having the baby go on welfare, go on welfare within the year. All this can easily be prevented by just simply using the condom. Now the worst part of having unwanted, of, uh, uh, the worst part of having unprotected sex is getting an STD slash STI. As if getting, as if getting an unwanted pregnancy isn't bad enough, getting an STD can actually kill you if, if you if you're untreated. It is estimated that there are about 65 million people living in the United States with an STD. Every year there are about 19 million new cases of STDs, but some which are curable. Condoms will greatly reduce the chance of you getting an STD because the rubber is made out of polyurethane, polyurethane, which helps which helps protect you from many STDs, but not all. So beware. Best way to avoid an STD is to not have sex at all, which I doubt it'll happen. <laughs> Latex condoms, if used consistently and correctly, are high are highly, highly effective on preventing sexual transmis transmission of HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Uh, using condoms lowers the risk of women getting cervical cancer. Uh, condoms will protect you from many sexual transmitted infections, such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. So my point is using condoms can help you avoid any of these problems. So if you're not, so if you're not going to wrap it, go home and wipe it. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> well, Kim, did you think it was awesome? <laughs> I think the opening and the ending were kind of vulgar. I don't know. But um, you kind of have poor eye contact. And there's a lot of numbers, like too many statistics. And it's not really clear if you're talking about um, preventing pregnancy or preventing STDs. But like you're talking about both. But it's not really defined in the beginning. So it's kind of confusing. But um, you're pretty funny. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I, I kind of agree with the vulgar thing. You know, I you can get away with a little bit, but I'm not sure that I want my thesis statement to be the vulgar statement that you've got. You know, that that's I think a little a little problematic. Um, maybe save it until you've gotten the speech set up a little bit more. I think you need a stronger setup of what the structure is going to be. You've got a lot of statistical information, I agree, but I think the statistics need to be in aid of supporting points, and your points are not as clearly structured as they ought to be. They're not uh, well laid out. There's not any, you know, motivation. Uh, emotional appeals on this except for the you know the jokes and I think that you need to have uh, a little bit more to uh, pull people in on this the it sounds like the problem that you're talking about is the failure to use condoms the condoms are the solution to the problem sounds pretty reasonable why is it that people aren't using condoms if this is the case I'm thinking about all those 532,000 kids or whatever the number was that you were talking about that were born you know from uh, unwanted pregnancies last year and I'm going okay so what is it that those people did they not know? Did they not understand? Did they just decide that it, you know, they're gamblers? Uh, you know, did they? I I don't know why it is that somebody would be in this situation. And I think that that's really where the subject of your speech ought to develop a little bit more. There's, um, that we have a problem with uh, STDs or with unwanted pregnancies. That's pretty uh, easy to document. That condoms are a solution to that. That's I think uh, pretty straightforward or at least a, a significant uh, solution to that but uh, why it is that people are not uh, acting on this I think that's the bigger issue and I think that's where you're going to need some work the presentation is problematic you are reading wait I mean this is the end of the term and you're reading everything uh, you there's almost no eye contact with the audience you do have a little bit of humor in your voice, but there are some pronunciation issues that come along because I don't think you've rehearsed enough. You've got uh, swinging feet frenzy when you watch the tape or you know the stuff. On, you'll see it. You know what you're doing with your legs. It's just all way out of control. And you've got more time, so there's more that you could have done with the speech. It's, it's a, a pretty reasonable topic. You've got some information in the speech. It just needs to be put together and practiced, I think, a lot more. All right. Thank you, Carlos.